Have you ever pulled a champion from a crystal that you forgot even existed? I have. Here's your quick guide to using Diablo in Marvel's Contest of Champions. Okay, so what does this guy actually do, and is he any good? So, let's first talk about Diablo. This is a rank 3 5 star. The synergies. So, one of the actual pluses of Diablo is that his synergies work well. So, what benefits him is that he gains potions at the end of the fight, based on who you brought along. But more importantly, um, like the Loki and Red Skull synergies are pretty good. The Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin ones are pretty good. Actually, they're all fairly decent. Um, so, he's good... Um, for synergy for other champions and if you pick one or two of these to go with him it can work out well the signature ability as far as being awakened it helps him consume excuse me it helps him brew potions faster and it makes them last longer once they're already in use i don't find that to be particularly helpful i'm sure it gives him an edge but it's certainly not required for him to be usable uh, he has energy attacks mixed in with physical, which can be helpful. He has reduced damage from poison, which can be useful in some situations. But suffice it to say, what he does is he brews these concoctions throughout the fight, and you get to pick which one you want to use if you manage your combos right, and they each have a different effect. The Ember Boon concoction is probably the best one. It deals extra damage as you um, do your normal combos on top of the, the uh, normal damage, and it's energy damage, which can be good. Counterflow is probably the least helpful of them. It's usually uh, only good for uh, maxing out and using your special three, so you have that permanent healing effect throughout the fight. Or it can nullify, but let's be honest, there are way better nullify champs in the uh, in the game than him. Life Stitch is good. The one thing that another really good thing about Diablo is that his health gain is on demand, which is not a common thing to find in the game, and it's actually pretty good. So the Life Stitch. So the Ember Boon and the Life Stitch are both pretty good. Iron Skin is good in kind of specific situations. As far as the attack you get while it's active, um, I don't know that it's all that great. Uh, but it does give you stun immunity, and I'll show you how that works uh, against Medusa later on in case you have struggles with, with somebody like that. Other than that, um, his Special 1 allows you to drink a potion, his Special 2 is unblockable, and his Special 3 allows you to have permanent effects. Um, not really a whole lot to focus on there. So let's get into some actual battles. All right, so the first mechanic I wanna show you is the Ember Boon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna end a combo on the orange symbol and hit a medium just like that. So right now it's brewing and now it's ready. So I can dash back and I can hold to consume it or I can use a special one. So first thing we're gonna do is bait out the special he's got going on here. There we go. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna dash back here I think. Yeah, we're gonna let him do a special. We're gonna dash back. Okay, so now Ember Boon is active. Look at the red numbers when I do my combo. 5,000, 3,000, a couple, like three, 900 some odd hits. So another 10 grand on that combo, which is pretty decent. Ember Boon's still active, and he's got a ton of buffs, which is what makes this powerful. And we're gonna throw this special three. It won't kill it, but that extra damage should. 22,000 damage extra from that Ember Boon. All right, the next one I want to show you is the counter flow mechanic. So we're going to bait this special here. There we go. And I'm going to throw my special one so I can gain a little bit of health and activate the counter flow. Notice when I do my combos here, it's uh, that parry. There we go. Uh, there's a nullify. There's a nullify. So two, two out of five hits. So that's 25% chance on each hit. And I got two out of five, which is not too bad. And there's another five hit combo. I got two out of five. So, um, it's it sort of works i guess i mean obviously it does work but there are obviously better champions for nullify um dr voodoo of course scarlet witch even though she's just a four star um so he has the mechanic but not necessarily the best in the game next up is the life stitch mechanic we're going to end our combo on the green there we go and hit a medium and i'll show you why the life stitch is actually pretty good for other points in this game. I have 81% health now, he's gonna gain while he drinks, and then boom, up to 95. So a good 10% of his health just from a special one, just one from that one concoction, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, and if you've got the permanent life gain from a special three, um, it can be even more. So fairly decent as far as the regeneration um, 
if it's your only champion you have that regenerates and you're in a level or a quest that needs that, he can probably get the job done. Alright, enough with Venom. Let's look at Medusa also. I'm going to show you the Iron Skin mechanic, which gives you extra attack as well as stun immunity. So we're going to brew that concoction. There we go. This works out pretty well in the Medusa fight because I can brew it there around the time she's got her three furies. There you go. So she auto-blocked and parried me, but I didn't get stunned, um, which, which I guess can help. And you can notice I'm doing kind of extra damage here as well. Um, the other one, the other way you can manage the opponent's buffs is with the counterflow. Now this first counterflow, I know I don't get to nullify anything. I know I just showed you on Venom that he nullifies, but here's an example where he doesn't actually do a very good job of it. We're gonna dodge that special. Yeah, not getting any on this this go around. All right, so let's continue on here. Dodge a special. Um, this particular counterflow, I'm gonna throw on a special three. Might as well. So on specials one and specials three. Uh, Di Diablo drinks the potion if you have one brewed. As a matter of fact, on special 3, there's a permanent effect that you get from it as well. So let's try and get some of those counters in here so you can manage Medusa. There's one. So one medium. There we go. So I countered one of her furies, which eases off of the uh, living strands, and I was able to finish the battle. So um, the counter flow, uh, it's okay. The iron skin, um, it might have its special uses, but generally speaking, it, it's probably not that helpful all around. All right, so what's the overall impression of Diablo? He is probably mediocre, right? He's great at bringing along synergies for other champions, actually, pretty good. Uh, the Ember Boon potion deals a lot of damage, so that relies on the opponent having a lot of buffs, though. And generally in the game, a lot of bosses have buffs, or a lot of uh, alliance wars, or high level uh, story mode has buffs. He would be really good for that. But overall, the healing is good, and it's good that it's on demand, but the counter flow is not that great. The iron skin is really not that great. Uh, and overall, he doesn't hit that hard. So he's fun. If he's one of your only five stars, definitely get the hang of it and use him. He can be fun to play. Um, I'll give Kabam that. But uh, overall, fairly mediocre. But if you have to use him, hopefully this guide helps. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Give me that like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with your alliances. Thanks a lot. Bye.